Hi everyone, welcome to Battlestar Collectica, the channel dedicated to the stories, the memorabilia, and collectibles surrounding the Galactica universe. And before we dive into today's exciting episode, I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed to the channel. It really means a lot to me. Now, a little quick history that will serve as the backstory to this episode. Way back in the early 2000s, a company named Majestic Studios acquired the classic Battlestar Galactica license, and they produced a line of 1-6 scale 12-inch figures that sold initially very well. Now, unfortunately, Majestic Studios went out of business in 2007, but it was not the end of the story for Battlestar Galactica. Another company named Amoctine Toys acquired the Galactica license from the bankruptcy sale of Majestic Studios. Now, Amoctine Toys picked up right where Majestic Studios had ended, and they decided to solicit brand new characters like Boomer, Colonel Ty, Commander Kane, Athena, and Lucifer. And I have done episodes taking a look in detail at each and every one of those prototypes. So if you haven't seen them, please check those episodes out. Now, to drum up some interest in their brand new line of figures, Amok Time Toys created a one-of-a-kind showcase bridge display. And that is what you are looking at in these photos. And they took this display to all the major conventions being held during this period of time. And that is how I heard about it. From someone seeing it, I believe, at San Diego Comic-Con. Take a look at this. In fact, many Galactica fans are more excited about this display than the actual prototype figures that were on it. Now, as we all know, Amok Time Toys decided to discontinue their Battlestar Galactica line. And none of these prototype figures that you see in these photos actually went forward. But what happened to the actual showcase display? The earliest story that I can find was that it was destroyed and simply thrown into a dumpster behind the company's headquarters, or so we thought. My fellow Galactica fans, I'm happy to report that those stories are wrong. This display was never destroyed. It actually exists. And here it is, the Battlestar Galactica 1-6 scale bridge display by Amok Time Toys. Check this out. Now, for once, those fuzzy memories of everyone who saw this in person are true. This piece is simply amazing. It is super big, 1-6 scale, very, very heavy, made of some type of Formica material, features multiple monitors with different graphics, multiple chairs that swing around. It is just incredible. Everything from the railing, which I believe is made out of metal, to the stairway that goes up from the ground floor to Commander Adama's bridge. It just is an amazing piece. Again, check this out. So much of Battlestar Galactica's history is lost, especially its toy history. I recently spoke to an engineer who worked on the original 1978 Mattel toy line, and he told me that once the show was canceled and Mattel moved on, everything was thrown in the trash. We're talking prototypes of unproduced figures and play sets and concept artwork. Everything gone forever. So that is why we are very fortunate that this piece still exists because in reality, it really could have been thrown in the trash. And yes, for those of you who are curious, that is the actual unproduced Athena prototype figure by a mock time toys in her bridge uniform. Thanks for watching this episode, everyone. Please subscribe to the channel so I know you're out there. Recommend this video to your fellow Galactica fan. I will see you in the next episode. Have a great Galactica day, everyone.